Hello, my name is Miss Charmette and I'm a librarian from the South Columbus Public Library. It's time to get ready for bed. Have you brushed your teeth? Are you wearing your jammies? Have you had one last drink of water? Do you have your special cuddle toy? You do? Great! Now you're ready for the best part of getting ready for bed a bedtime story and our story tonight is one of my very favorites the three bears but before we read our story let's do something special before reading our story let's sing a song called bears it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Sing along with me. Grizzly bears are big and brown, big and brown, big and brown. Grizzly bears are big and brown and live in the woods. Polar bears are soft and white, soft and white, soft and white. Polar bears are soft and white and live in the cold. Teddy bears are just my size, just my size, just my size. Teddy bears are just my size to cuddle with at night. Now it's time for our story, The Three Bears by Byron Barton. Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was a papa bear and a mama bear and a baby bear. One day, Mama Bear made some porridge. Do you know what porridge is? It's kind of like oatmeal. She made a big bowl for Papa Bear a medium-sized bowl for Mama Bear, and a little bowl for Baby Bear. But the porridge was too hot, and so the three bears went for a walk in the woods so that the porridge could get cool. Just then, along came a little girl. And do you know what her name was? Her name was Goldilocks. Goldilocks looked inside the house. And do you know what she saw? She saw those three bowls of porridge. They look so good. So, you know what Goldilocks decided to do? That's right, she decided to go in the house and eat the porridge. Are you supposed to do that? No, but she did. Goldilocks was so hungry. She ate from Papa Bear's bowl, but it was too hot. So she tried Mama Bear's bowl. It was too cold. So she tried Baby Bear's bowl. It was just right. So Goldilocks ate and ate until she ate Baby Bear's porridge all up. Then Goldilocks wanted to sit down. She found three rocking chairs. She tried Papa Bear's rocking chair, but it rocked too fast. She tried Mama Bear's rocking chair, but it rocked too slow. 
So then she tried Baby Bear's rocking chair. It rocked just right. So she rocked and she rocked so hard until Baby Bear's chair broke. Oh no! Then Goldilocks wanted to lie down. She found three beds. She tried Papa Bear's bed, but it was too hard. She tried Mama Bear's bed, and it was too soft. So she tried Baby Bear's bed. It felt just right, and Goldilocks fell asleep. <gasps> oh no, guess what happened next? The three bears came home. You remember why they went into the woods? That's right, they were waiting for the, the porridge to cool. So let's see what happens when they come in the house. So the bears looked at their porridge and Papa Bear said, somebody's been eating my porridge. And Mama Bear said, somebody's been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear said, somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it. And then they looked at their chairs. Papa Bear looked at his chair. He saw there was a flower in his chair. He said, somebody's been rocking in my chair. And Mama Bear said, somebody's been rocking in my chair. Then Baby Bear looked at his rocker and said, somebody's been rocking in my chair. They broke it all to pieces. Oh no, now they went and looked at their beds. Papa Bear looked at his bed. Look, the covers are all mussed up and there's a flower there. Papa Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And then Baby Bear looked over at his bed and said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed and there she is. And Goldilocks woke up and saw that she was surrounded by bears. Would you be scared if you woke up and saw bears in your bedroom? <gasps> I would be. I would be scared. And guess what? Goldilocks, she was scared too. You see that look on her face? She looked scared. So she jumped up and she ran out the door. And she may have even made a sound running out the door. Ah! She ran out the door. She ran into the woods. And she ran as fast as she could away from the three bears' house. And you know what? Those three bears never saw Goldilocks again. And that was the three bears by Byron Barton. One last song before we go to sleep. It's called Sleepy Bear. Did you know that bears sleep all winter? They have to be really tired to sleep that long. The song is called Sleepy Bear and it's to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? Where is bear? Where is bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> well, now let's wake him up because it's springtime. On the count of three, we're going to yell, Wake up, bear! One, two, three. Wake up, bear! I'm awake! I'm awake! All right, let's sing our song again. Where is bear? Where is bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired. Thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <sighs> but it's springtime. We need to wake them up on the count of three. One, two, three. Wake up, bear! I'm awake. I'm awake. All right, one more time. Where is bear? Where is bear? Here I am. Here I am. 
How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <sighs> all right, this time we need to let him sleep because it's time for all you sleepy bears to go to sleep. Good night. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win, cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.